Right, we note uh, a couple of things here. We take a look at this question and we realize that we need to solve this word problem. The difference of two numbers is 10 and the sum of the squares is 50. Find the numbers. So now to solve this particular question, we start as follows and we say let x. Let x be equal to the first, the first number, the first number, and y be equal to the second number, like so. Right, moreover, we have been told that the difference of the two numbers is 10. So we take uh, the first number minus uh, the second number, and the result is exactly 10. And this implies that x equals uh, y plus 10 if we transpose uh, the minus y to the right. So the difference of two numbers is 10 and the sum of the squares is 50. And that means that uh, x squared plus uh, y squared. That means that x squared plus y squared equals 50. And uh, this said uh, means uh, you have equation one Equation two. Next, uh, you proceed to put uh, actually one into two. Put one. Equation one into equation two. And if we do so, what do we get? So if there is x, uh, we put y plus 10. So we're going to have exactly y plus 10 or squared plus y squared is equal to 50. Right, so we proceed with this. And we solve this. So y plus 10, all squared, plus y squared equals 50. If you square this, what do you get? You get y squared plus 20y. Square 10, you get 100 plus y squared equals 50. Right. Adding like terms together, y squared plus y squared gives us 2y squared plus 20y. 50 or rather 100 minus 50, actually uh, the two give us 50 equals zero. We can divide through by the highest common factor, two, getting y squared, dividing 20 by two gives us 10. 50 by two, 25, gives us zero. Right next we, Proceed as follows, we multiply y squared and 25, getting 25y squared. We look for two expressions whose product is 25y squared, but whose sum is 10y, and those are 5y and 5y, like this. Like this. Plus 25 equals zero, because 5y and 5y give us 10y, Highest common factor from the first two, two terms, give us this. You pull this out and you have this. The highest common factor is exactly y plus five here into y plus five equals zero. Right. And uh, we can transfer this uh, to the other side of the screen, like so.
right so your first we can realize that y is minus 5 or uh, y is equal to minus 5 right y equals minus 5 or y equals minus 5 but we remember the other equation it is exactly what x equal to y plus 10 um but but x equals y plus 10 so that well we have the same uh, um result so that y equals this one yields y equals minus 5 yields x equals okay minus 5 plus 10 which is 5 here this one okay hence the numbers are hence hence the numbers are x equals 5 and y equals uh, negative 5. Let's do a quick check of this. Here's a quick check. You have um, the difference of the numbers. You ask yourself, is this 10? We substitute x is 5, y is minus 5. And this is 5 plus 5, 10. Good. Next, uh, the sum of the squares. x squared plus y squared. What is x? Is 5 squared. The y is minus 5 squared. 25 plus 25 and the sum is 50. Okay, so with this said, we got the two numbers. They are exactly five and minus five. So thanks everybody. Goodbye to you.